and so be it right now. Good afternoon, everybody. It's the Bee Lady at the Bee Lady Apiary. And um, I am heading down to the bee yard. It's cool, but we are there are threatening thunderstorms, even though the um, local weathermen said no. I think we're in some kind of a microclimate out here. We're down in a valley. But anyway, today we are going to be working on our last hive. Oh, thank you. Um, where I am going to let uh, be patient. And, um, you know, he likes working with our bees. I like working with our bees. We do have, oh, itch, itch. We do have different mannerisms, but, you know, I'm going to show you what we're facing here as far as clouds, folks. But we're going to go ahead and see if we um, can get this done. Uh, I'm going to put this down just for a second. And um, because I am putting on my gloves, I'm right outside. The bee yard, and um, they, the bees, they know where we are. I mean, they just know. Um, one thing I did, I did bring down uh, is some different pellets that um, from um, a bee supply. Is that water on my frame? I don't know. Um, I mean, on my neck. Um, and I'm hoping, you know, I get to keep the smoker going. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, because, you know, those smokers, I think they're, they're supposed to be roaring, roaring, roaring. Uh, as I said, I have a different approach. I like a lot of smoke. I don't like the bees to be questioning what I'm doing. And Bee Man doesn't particularly care for a lot of smoke because the, the saying is it sets them back a week. Well, some of these hives, I don't mind if they're set back a week. We're going forward here, and I'm going to switch screens to see if I'm able to see any of the chat. I'm a, just a little bit more familiar with the setup than B-Man, and so I'm hoping that might be the case. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, what he just did was to um, fill up a feeder. Correct, dear? You feed, you filled up a feeder. Let's go over and see what's going on there. Uh -huh. We're going to go over and see just what's going on. Um, oh, yeah, they're all going there. There you go. That's a top high feeder. Ideally, they go in the net part and go down to drink and then get back up. If they just dive in the water, they drown. Um, here's the entrance and they're hungry. I am not 100%. I don't recall what we did with this hive, but we'll discuss that later. All the new queen, that's right. They love her. They love her. See, folks, they love her. That's how you can tell. They love it. They've got a new queen. They're good to go. No, I just took Tape off, so I oh, we just took the tape off. I don't know if they're gonna love her or not. Well, they'll love her. Uh, were they around the cage? Yeah, okay, they were around the cage, they were trying desperately to get her out. And over here, the three are three Louisiana hives. How y'all doing over there? <laughs> Excuse me. And my husband checked those sometime back, so we don't have to worry about those. Here is our nuke, another nuke that is hopefully producing a queen in there. We will check on that next week. And now we're heading over to Fort Rains. I know, isn't it terrible? I don't know what kind of climate we're in. Are you gonna have to drive backwards or? No. Oh, uh, I'll back up. Okay, I'm gonna back up here so I, that, I can go huh? No, it's okay. Let's just do it the safe way. Here's my, here we go. <sighs> there we go. 
one. Whoops, Daisy. Oh, oh word. let's go. Um, here we go. So we are going to be doing a hive check on swarm hive number one, which is the swarm hive we got from a church member. It was up. Well, you can still see some bees up in her um, gutter area, but this this was a huge swarm. Whoopsie daisy. Ah. Pushing buttons, okay, in her tree that we um, took for her. It was the first swarm we ever caught or ever took, so we're really, you know, we're really happy with the out, out with the outcome. Okay, I'm gonna swing around here, and um, let's see. I think um, the internet should be okay right where it is. So I'm going to leave that on my golf cart. And I'll just have to set down when I'm using the screen. You think it's warm down here, honey. <laughs> okay. Now. Oh, no, you are. I just, you know, you've been so patient with me. Unless you want me to do it. Okay, we're going to check out the entrance. They do not have an entrance reducer. So they are free. They have the whole area to come and go as they please. Okay. Okay. You want me to smoke you? No. Okay. All righty. You can do the talking. Oh, I am. I am. Um, it has a deep, super, super, deep, super, um, five boxes, which is pretty much what, um, our hives have gotten to this year. You know, when I got back to our house yesterday, I, I said to my husband, I've had it with these hives. We, I only want three boxes, two boxes. I mean, this is ridiculous, but you know, sometimes you get tired folks. But then you have to just forge ahead. Okay. How's it how's it look? Like they've always looked. Oh, like they've always looked. Fairly busy. Swarm hives. Give them a minute to calm down. Okay. Um, as a lot of people have told us, they um they're just very active. And when you put them in a hive box and they're used to living in trees and gutters and walls, they just go bananas. And while he's smoking those, I'll give you a, uh, a view again of our bee yard over there. Whoops, let me make sure I have the right one. Over there, our original bee yard where we first started with everything. And we have way off to the right, the experimental one and we have a, a nuke, and then our core group of hives. Then we have our three hives from Louisiana, which were nukes when they arrived. Then we have the swarm hive we just caught the shear, which we suspect came from hive seven because we're not 100% sure. It also is um, quarantined over here. And then we have our original swarm hive, Okay, let's see how she looks. Okay, bees on the bottom, no swarm cell. Bees on the top. There we go. I'm gonna move around this way and take a peek at the frames. This is pretty hmm? light, so. Pretty light. When it's light, that is originally, well, you're figuring, well, we don't have a lot of honey. Not in the frames. Uh, we do have a queen excluder in here, so I'm bracing myself for dead bees on the excluder. Okay. Um, let's see. I see a lot of activity. I can see a lot of activity, unfortunately. You know, being here, you can't. I'm going to switch screens here and just see. Can go over. 
oopsie daisy to another tab and see if I can see the chat. Let me see here. Oh, the sun's not out and it's still hot. I just don't believe this. I don't believe this. Okay. All right. Wednesday. And for those of you who are wondering, we will be streaming tonight our regular time. All right, Maureen L. Hello. No st stream yet. McCray family. Hello. Let me see. Um, howdy. 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 I hope you can see me. I hope you can hear me. Um, we are at our swarm hive and, um, we're just starting to go through the boxes. Hello, hello. Okay, let me see here. I know, I know. Let's see. I'm just going to go. Uh huh. Okay, I'm just talking to the two people here. I'm asking them, I hope I was asking them if they could see and hear us. Yeah. Okay, we're going through the frames rather quickly. Nothing. I will draw out comb. Yeah, but I it's put pretty. it in like that. Oh, we put it in like that. Okay, so not too much up here. There is a bee up here with pollen. There, there is a pea with pollen. A bee, a bee. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. Uh, yeah, this is, this. you know, I'm noticing this is pretty much typical for the hives that we put a queen excluder on. Um, so I, I don't know why that is. I'm going to go back over and check the, um, here we go. Okay. Um, yeah, nothing here. This is the top box, box number five of our swarm hive. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see. This is going to be one of those fast hive checks. <laughs> it's speedy because of the weather. I just don't believe this. Look at those clouds, folks. I don't know. Are those thunder? I don't know what thunderhead anymore. I just don't know. We sit near the lake. Near the lake. And we are right near the lake, yeah. unfortunately. This is the second, the top of the deep. second box. This is the deep. Right under this is the queen excluder. So we're not going to be looking for brood because she can't get past this metal part right here. Okay. And we have some dead bees. Are those dead bees or something I don't want to know about? They're dead bees. They're dead bees, shriveled up. And like I say, I suspect it's because this heats up. I'm bothering people. I'm going to get this off now. Yeah. You know, this. They're, it's so hot. But I'm going to go back over, over here. So a lot of bees. This is um. This is their deep. And they're in there. Hello, little bees. I know. I didn't know what they were doing. It's a dead bee. Dead bee. They're trying dead to help bee. her. Okay. Um. We're going to go through this and see. Was it really heavy? Yeah, very. Okay. Very. Okay. Very heavy. Well, are you so oh. No, I just did. I'll, I'll wait till I, I get over. Okay. I don't want to over smoke them. Let us see. Okay. I see Camp Tony, however. Can I see the other side again, please? Yeah. On this Camp Tony, these holes are showing that they are eating their supply. Okay, so we may want to feed this hive also. Anytime they're eating, you see all the wax down there they're putting. Uh, it's a strong enough hive. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, these bees don't look really active to me. Um, not as active as they could be. I'll show you over here at the top of this hive. You see this? 
this should not be. If you were here yesterday, you know that they just won't sit there like that. I'm putting my hand over top, no response. So, okay. I will have to go back and look up if there's any connection between queen excluders and oh, what it is. Why? Why they're they're starving? These these bees aren't really starving. We're in a dearth. Okay. Well, we might be in a dearth, but the hive I looked at yesterday, those bees were stronger and more active because two out of three bees, if you recall, were bringing in pollen. So I don't know how we would explain that if it's a dearth. Okay, we're looking here. The dearth is more than nectar, I think. Than the is it? Well, they were bringing in. I mean, I don't see anybody, any bees, anybody, any bees here. Let's see this one. Another one with um, that they are eating. That's the whole. It's a lot of nectar. They're bringing right here. Nectar. Yeah, they're bringing in nectar, but they're still they're more lethargic than I would like bees to be. They're they're supposed to be like the bees yesterday, all over the place. <laughs> I mean, they were. Okay, they're looking at him. Okay, this looks like really pretty comb coming up, just from what I can see here. Yes, drawn out comb, capped honey, but if you look, whole, 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 they're they're taking it. The same over there. They so got nectar too. They got nectar, but we're not going to take anything from them because they're it's starving. Hard to tell. They might have been mid nectar. I don't know. Whatever. And then things stopped. Well, they could have been. However, yes, I know, I know that is true. However, I will have to go back and really think about this because we had a hive yesterday that was roaring. Um, so I don't know, and this is the same size. Here we go again. Cap honey, but holes in it. They're eating it. And as I explained yesterday, it would be the same as squirrels storing nuts for the winter and yet eating those nuts. You okay there? Yeah. Okay. Oops, oops. Okay, next frame. I think we got some solid honey coming up. Well, so let it us feels see. Like. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, just about on this side, I would say a good 70% with holes in it. And over here, a lot of nectar. Nectar is clear. Um, it's, it's the clear liquid right before they make honey. And in this case, it doesn't appear they're, they're making honey, but then they're eating the honey. So to me, how, no matter how you slice and dice it, they need food. And when I mentioned that every hive is different, it appears, oh, that's beautiful. On that side, almost 100% capped honey, almost 100% capped honey. Uh, I'm tempted to leave that because they're just, you know, they're, they're not doing really good with food. And I'm afraid if I take it, you know, it won't help them. Now, the thing about it is, I know I may be repeating myself, but I never know who's here and who was here the day before. The honey is like the nuts for the squirrels in the winter. And as the beekeepers, we're mindful to take out frames of honey, some for our enjoyment, but some to freeze and to hold for them so that when... Which one I just took out? Okay, you're on the right one. This one? Mm -hmm. Um... Let's see. Just drawn out comb. Okay, over here, a lot of a lot of capped honey, but like I say, in good conscience, I can't I can't do that. I can't take anything from them right now. Because they're so they're so hungry. When we put the feeder on, 
Do we bring an extra feeder down? I did, but I just used it. Oh, we just used it. Okay. A feeder is very easy to put on. Um, when we, the idea is when we give them a feeder, they will go to that and leave their honey alone. And that's, you know, when we come back down, they will have, um, hopefully, um, made honey. That one we made, if it's real hemp, what's the No, yeah. it's all stuck together. Yeah, propolis. I'm trying not to slam it. No, I know. They're very busy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what? Hmm? They're I, probably joined at the bottom. I don't see that. Yeah, they must be. Are they? Yeah, they, they've got to be. Huh. Um, well, let me see. Uh, you want to lift from that side or lift from this side? Okay, one, two, three. There we go. Okay, yeah, there's that one right there is what he was talking about. The irregularity of... um. You can oh, see, yeah, yeah, they just build comb any which way they want to. Uh -huh. The other side is nectar. Okay, the other side is nectar. Okay. Here we go. Do we have our brush in case we need it? Okay, I'll go over and get it. I'm going to walk over, folks, and get the brush. Oh. Okay. It's our trusty brush. I'll stick it in my pocket. All nectar. All nectar. Okay. And they're so busy on it. Uh huh. I think they're sealing it. I think they're trying to. They're sealing and eating at the same time. Okay. Obviously, this box is a lot busier than that box unless okay now you want to take this one off of here no okay it's heavy enough just from the neck alone whoops uh-huh we're off uh, i'm gonna leave it okay here you go let's see hi grant hubbard oh we're having fun wish you were here I'm um, a Cray family. If I didn't say hi, hi. Wish you, you wish you all were here. This is quite an experience. I know it just really is. Um, two, four, six, eight, nine. Huh? No, they're bubbling up like. Uh, I know, and if you can look really closely, and for some reason this doesn't want to move. Let me see here. Okay, these little parts right here, right here. Okay, this is the part that keeps the hives at a distance that a bee can get through. So even though, as I said yesterday, it looks like we're just squashing the bees. No, we're not squashing the bees. They have plenty of space to get through, Most if you can see them. here. Well, <laughs> not this way we're not. You know, we could be some other way. Oh, bees. Oh, sweetie. Okay. Well, they're thinking about it. Okay. Someone asked me about the bee suits. And we have, um, the type that we have on now are supposed to be ventilated so that you stay cooler. Um, you do. However, they are very heavy. And as I was, oops, suiting up today, I used to work at a generating station, a very large generating station with, um, oh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, six um, boilers and turbines. I don't know if anybody here is familiar with that. And so we had to take all types of first aid training, respirator training. You know, we wore hard hat safety glasses. What's up? Is this one back here inside or out? It's outside. It's gone. Um, safe steel toe shoes the whole thing you know even though we we did stuff in the office we still had to know all of the stuff what do you mean 
No, I'm just looking. It's going to be interesting moving the boxes. Well, guys. I know they're so territorial. But anyway, one thing we did have to do was fire training. Oh, now they move. Oh, look, a little smoke, and now they're moving. Where do you plan to put that? On top of these guys? Yeah. Okay, so I you're going to... Okay. But anyway, um, we had to take fire training, and which they took um, maybe the size of a kiddie pool. So it was a good size. And... Um, I'm going to put it on the lower one. On the top. On the what? Oh, okay, over here. So, um, and it was pure oil or something, and then they just set it on fire. There's a bee on here, okay. And we had to put it out. So, you're okay as far as oh, I'm fine. Yeah. Um, and we had to put on this heavy, 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 heavy fire suit, similar to what um, the firemen wore. Literally, the the um, extinguishers we used, I had to drag it. But if you wanted to work there, you had to know how to put this stuff out because of all the hazards around. And so any women out there that are firemen, my hat goes off to you because I know, oh, here, let me get this. It's basically empty. Yeah, it's basically empty. I'm just taking off some wax there. Right. Oh. Okay. I'm putting it over here. We've got a lot of food. Oh, okay. Is that heavy? It's just a lot of cap. Oh. This was, this was all brand new. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Brand new um, frames with no, no comb. Oh, okay. So they've drawn a lot of comb out. Okay. Um, beautiful drawn out comb. It's white. I love it when it's white like that. It's so pretty. And then here they're starting. And here they're starting. Okay, I would have brought my lawn chair over here. <laughs> if I knew I could sit. Okay. Okay, let's see. Next frame. This is the first frame under the queen excluder. So we could see brood. We have to be mindful of where is the queen. Oh, boy. Let's see. All capped, honey. Okay. Um, all capped honey. We don't see brood in this box. We may want to take that. That's just up to you. you may want to. Um, okay. I mean, that you know, if you can't, we're going to give them food. That's just, gonna we're going to set it over to the side. Okay. Folks, I'm going to walk over here and get my lawn chair because I've been going through these hives and, you know, I'm going to. Come over here and, oh dear, uh, you know, whoa, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. What's that? Uh, let us see. Oh, well, see that? It's not, they're still working on it. They're working on it, but it's that beautiful white comb. Oh, let me sit. Okay. Beautiful white. And this Whoops. is a very, a very, very, um, okay, drawn comb. Okay, wait, wait, wait. And all right. I lost my Google. I lost something oh. here. Okay. It's a what? Drawn comb. Drawn comb. See that pretty white down there? I don't know if you can see. Oh, it's so lovely. A little um one little piece of a brood there, but it's just beautiful. Piece of brood. On the other side or a supersede yourself. On one of the Where? sides, can you flip it back over? Yeah. See it right there? Oh, yeah, you know what? no telling. Um, that does look like it, but just one by itself. I don't know. I don't know. Either. But anyway, um, good eyes. When we take wax back to the to the house, you know, before I melt it and do anything with it, I'm sorting out the brown from the tan from the white, and, and it's quite a mission. Okay. Drawn comb. Drawn comb. Drawn comb. Drawn comb. Brood. Some brew, but let's so let's not lose the queen. Drawn call means with yeah with oops the basic frame we put in. They have to first draw out the comb and they go. 
Vinny G. Hey. I have been meaning to get to you. I've got to send you some honey. Drawn comb nectar. Drawn comb and nectar. For um, what was that thing on the bottom there? I thought I saw nothing something. The nothing there. Yeah, Vinny. I want to. Um, That's just for comb. I'm not worrying about it now. For appearing with us. Because it's a big hive. So it's coming. When we get it, you get it. Oh, well, let's see. You're such a peach, Vinny. Okay, here we go. But, you know, still, folks, if you remember yesterday, to me, the bees here are very slow. Slow, slow, slow. Drawn comb. Drawn comb. Nectar. Okay? It's nectar. But they're, you know, they're doing stuff. I don't know if it's the weather or what, but they're slow. The weather has something to do with it. Does it? They're oh. always well, affected by the weather. Then we should come down on cloudy days. Since yeah. that's when, um, you could even eat the frames. I don't know. You got to fight the bees for those frames, Vinny oh, G. very heavy. Very heavy. Let's see here. Uh, load it. Load it with bees. Oh, nectar, nectar. And the same on the other side. Same on the other. That or nectar. And what do they take the liquid? Or they have to change the nectar to honey. They they fan it fan until it. they reduce the moisture content below 17%. You heard it here, folks. They fan that nectar until it is below the moisture content of 17%. Nothing here. But. They're yeah. working on it. Okay, so that can go nicely on top of that box there. I, I will not remember the order. <laughs> itch, itch. All right. And these boxes, folks. Oh, here's a little flower that they just love. Okay. Nope. Oh, they don't love that. Nope. Okay, it's that flower right there. It's Queen Anne's Lace. That they look well, I like it. No, they, um, they can't, they don't like red clover either. No, they don't like red clover, um, but they do like, yeah, these, that one. These little white mm -hmm. things sticking up, anyway. Um, these hot, these boxes are heavy, the frames can be heavy depending on what's in there. Know, can you see? There you go, folks. Uh, this hive is really kind of friendly so far. And of course, we're not down in the bottom boxes. But nope. That's usually when they get rowdy because that's the queen's area. You want to um, brush them on top? Yeah, we'll brush those on top. At the, end. At the end. Whenever we take honey, a frame of honey from any of these hives, uh, we end up Fighting the bees. Trust me. They follow us back. And we have to fight them. And that's pretty much it. Okay. This is going to be Let's see. out of sequence. but Out of sequence. Frame. But we Two, got it. Four, six, eight, nine, when I say fight them, I don't mean, you know, really fight them. It's just they follow their honey. <laughs> and they know where it's going. And they come to get it. And, um, you know, we put it in bags, we put it in cases, and they just are relentless. They want their honey bag. And, you know, it's, for us, you know, when we do it, it's not as simple as, oh, well, you know, they're going to be really nice and let us have it. So it, it, it takes a while. Over here is a frame that we are going to take. As you can see, it's all capped honey. And the bees are going around it, and they're probably eating it, if I know them. But, um, it, you know, things like that, as I said, we want to um, get them out. And then we have a lot of frames back at the house. We'll assess what are we going to do. partially drawn. Right. That is, can you, we just see that? Eye. We never, we try never to put an empty frame in. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? That's all drawn out foam and some honey and some honey what percent of energy do they spend i forgot it's eight to one eight to one eight what to one what uh. just a second 
Hold on, he's gonna tell us. Uh, all I recall from B class is it's a tremendous amount of energy to um, to do that. And the life of a worker bee is not that long. You know, if they hatch in the spring, they don't see winter. And I do not recall exactly what it is, but eight ounces of honey. Oh, to one ounce of comb. Eight ounces of honey to one ounce of comb. I know. How we doing? And so, you have a place for that ounce. over here. Okay. What? Okay, go ahead. Eight pounds of honey to one pound of comb. Eight pounds of honey to one pound of comb. What does that mean? It means they have to consume eight pounds of honey to create one pound of comb. They have to consume eight ounces of honey for to make one ounce of comb. So. That's why I say feed them. Because when you see brood, the little nurse bees, they're working on um, keep, you know, getting them. Hi, cooking with a little spice. Good to see ya. I'm sitting down today cooking with a little spice. <laughs> I love this. Uh, bee man is Manning this last hive, thank goodness it's our last hive. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna go this direction. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna move over here. Uh, here we go. Hmm? Nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna start on that side toward you. Oh, okay. Over no problem. It looks like the side where they're the least. Uh huh. Place. Okay. You know, although the the beekeepers will tell you, if they all line up and start looking at you, <laughs> it means they're gonna attack. So there are some things that they do. Where did my bees go? What happened here? Oh, here we go. That you can be ready for. Put on, folks. I'm getting this back in focus. Okay, here we go. First frame up. Uh, I'm going to go back on this other so screen. Drawn comb, which is see. Unusual. What is it? Oh. Just some yeah. The, very rarely will we see, do we see um, frames at the end, on either end of the boxes, meaning, you know, the, right here, like right here. Um, it's hardest for them to get to. Yeah, it's the hardest for them to get through. They seal everything up. And then, you know, like they, I don't know, it's, it's just something they do. Okay. You okay? He's thinking. Oh, well, some of the phone just came up by itself. Oh, okay. Well, that's. Okay. Beautiful. Sealed honey, this side drawn out comb. Capped honey, it's called capped honey, forgive me. And when we do our extractions of honey, um, like I was saying the other day, we don't use those hot knives, we don't use all that stuff. We just, we have like a, well you'll see, we're, we, we'll, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we'll be doing a video of that. We just scrape off the caps take what's there and give back when we give the frames back they have some honey in them and they have um most of the wax and that's the best way to do it you want your bees to do the least amount of work as possible okay what you see here is they're making some double comb on some of those hives Beautiful cap, Tony. I, I don't know, dear. Is that a taker? There's not yes. much more they can do with that. Okay. Yes, I mean, they're working on it, but yeah, they're going into double layers. The ter like I said, the three reasons we take it is not just to extract it and go, ooh, you know. Although that is part of the reason. Um. The other reason is 
we would rather feed them and keep them going and have that for the winter. And we don't want these boxes to be really heavy. And capped honey on a frame is heavy. Really heavy. Okay, let's see. All right, some capped honey. And the other side? Is that all capped honey on the other side? No. No. I'm getting brewed. Oh, are you? Okay. We're going to see some brood, which is good. So we're not going to keep this particular frame out for long. At the weather, too. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. That is brood. Okay. And that is almost all solid brood. Where you would want the brood in a frame. On either side of the brood in that frame is honey. So the nurse bees go over to the honey, go back to the brood. Go over to the honey, go back to the brood. Um, I'm not going to pull the next one out. It's right. Got brood. It's got brood. We're not going to pull the next one out because when we see brood, we know the queen is around. But it's also got honey. Next one is brood also. Next one is brood also. This is good. This tells us that the queen is laying. This is what I was trying to do. With it. it's yeah, which tells us even if something happens to the queen, they have enough brood to, um, is that, what type of brood is that? It's, worker? It's worker, yeah. Worker, okay. Um, when you're sighting your brood or looking for your brood, keep in mind there are two types of brood, worker and drone. I don't like drone brood. I just don't. Without a drone. <laughs> I know, sweetheart, without a drone. Mate. Well, I know that, but I just don't care for it. You know, because ever since the first year when that laying work, those laying workers, I just was not happy with that. Whoop, more brood. More brood, okay. Mm. So you notice that the brood is in the center, the center hives, and surrounded by honey. So we're not going to take anything from here mainly honey mainly honey and they're drawing it out on the end and they're drawing it out so a lot of these bees are nurse bees now what about that wax on top or do you want to leave it i don't um, know yeah i know two four six eight what two four six we need two more frames in here that's going to be fun okay um i'm not going to put them in the middle because it'll break up the brood yes we never no one should ever break up the brood. When you see all of that brood, that's why your bees are there. Our bees are there. It's going to take some of the wax. Uh, no, they don't like that. They're not happy. Um, and we put it back outside the hive where they can get to it. But you never break up your brood. You keep your brood and your honey in the center. Okay. Smoking, they're not happy. But it worked. Okay. More or less. Mm -hmm. They will keep building comb, which is beeswax. They don't care. If they run out inside the frame, as you can see, they will build it outside the frame. They don't care. They don't stop. They as you as I showed you before, they will build it inside the feeders inside the top box everywhere they just keep going and going they have fantastic survival instincts um it seriously made me appreciate honey well you know um mini g it's it is fun it's a hobby it's fun um you know, you, you just have to, I mean, it's a hobby. I, mean, I don't know what to tell you. Previous to having bees, when our children were at home, we had a miniature horse and a goat. And, you know, they were a lot of work. <laughs> they were more work than the bees. Only because you had to go over to that barn and 
feed them every morning, give them water every morning. Up here in the north, you know, that means warm water in the winter. You had to let them out. Then at night, you had to go back over there, feed them again, and bring them in. So it was a daily thing. And if you wanted to go on vacation or, or go anywhere for the weekend or something, you could just leave them to find someone to come and take care of them. Which, you know, we're pretty, we were pretty successful in doing most of the time. But, you know, you couldn't just take off and leave them. And to me, that was a lot of work. You know, you had veterinary bills. With bees, you don't have veterinary bills. You're your own vet. You know, when it, when there's something wrong, you have a huge infestation of varroa mites, and you have to treat them. In a couple of weeks, I will be testing for varroa mites. I did show on an early stream how you put them in the, the sugar roll, the confectionery sugar roll, where you put them in the canning jar and roll, roll, roll them, and then... I might also do an alcohol roll, which, you know, a lot of people don't like because it does kill the bees, but it is more accurate. Uh, but you don't need a vet veterinarian. You are your veterinarian. You decide when they need to be fed, what they need to be fed, when they need to be treated, and for what, things like that. So it makes it a lot, a lot better. I mean, a lot easier. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, I'm afraid of bees, I'm afraid of bees. Well, if you ever had a stallion, folks, even a miniature stallion. Okay, I tread lightly with him. Oh, I loved him. He understood me, but, you know, you're going to come this way or that way. I know. No, I'm just looking at him. Is there a okay. Thank you. back over here. Okay, this is the deep, which is the core of the hive. Oops, Daisy. Let me get back up here. So you, I should go over here. I'll go over here. No, I'll go over here. I just realized I need more space on this side. Oh, good. Hello, bees. This is the entrance. We have to get to the entrance. Oh, where's the entrance? There we go. That is the entrance. Oh, so they go in and come out. Okay. Let's see. Oh, root on this, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I don't really know this what I'm looking This really at. stuck. Stuck. Okay. Uh, no brood, but honey on this side. Just, just a tad, but some. Yeah, there we go. Empty comb, Empty comb but it is unusual to see them working yeah. honey on um because of that. Okay. All right. Got a lot of comb that's not Do you want some smoke? Uh yeah, I thought I had some comb. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Smoke okay. okay. What's with these bees over here? You guys want to come over here. I got some smoker pellet in the golf cart. It's the weather. The weather. Yeah, it is the weather. They we can tell. It. Folks, look. I'm going to point yeah. this up. And let you see major, major storm clouds coming in. Okay. I know. Isn't it awful? It's like living in Canada. Anybody from Canada here? It's like living in Canada. Okay, let's see what's down here. I only say that because that's where all these fronts are. Okay, from. nothing pretty much on Solid this side. Pollen. Solid sides. pollen. Pollen before. Yeah. Well, yeah, once they. Okay, well. Um, they're getting sorry. wild. They're getting wild. Let me we'll discuss are. this tonight. We will be streaming tonight, folks. I can put some more smoke in there. No, so okay. Bad. I'm trying not to over smoke them, but they at this point, I think I will start to over smoke them. 
post or anything. Well, they overdo it, then they just it reverses and they get more upset. Okay, let's see. Brew it on this side. Okay. Hey, folks, that is brewed. See all those little dots? Brewed, brewed, brewed. We don't want to lose the queen. Okay, that's brood. Little eggs. Did you so, see eggs? Well, brood. I didn't see any larva. Brood is good enough for me. We got more. This next one is solid brood. I'm next solid brood. Out. We're not going to lift those with the solid brood, folks. Okay. You uh, can see. This queen from this swarm originally was a fantastic. Uh, okay, well, layer. the bees aren't appreciating these long dialogues. <laughs> How are we doing? Where are we? Okay. What is down there? That's brood. more brood. Brood in there. This next one is, it looks like solid brood. Solid brood. Okay. Um, I'm done. You're done? done? This is all brood. This is all brood. Okay. As far as I can tell, they're packed in here. They're packed in. We're going to load her back up because of the weather. And I'm going to back up so y'all can see. You see them? They're starting to go really... Nuts. It's not us. It's the weather. Uh, they are so sensitive to any kind of drop in temperature. He wants to give them one more space. You know, give like her more space? Yeah, like with a... Let me see. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Just leave a nine then. No, I meant a frame. Well, you know what? Leave a I don't know. No, this frame in the end. She needs more space to I'm lay. I'm going to put it in as much. Well, she's laying a lot. I'm going to put the one. That's the goal. I, know. I don't recall seeing too many empty frames. Unless she goes all the way up and lays. Um, I yeah, I know. I agree with you. And um, if she doesn't have, I mean, in this I'm right now. I'm going to try the other side. Okay. If there's, I thought I had more luck on that side, but if I can. Find I'm right in their flight path, path what I just did, outfit. folks. Huh? Right. If, I don't know. Okay. Let's see. You're right. She needs space. Yeah, we're at the last box here. We're trying to see. Oops, here's the box. Oh, where's my other? That's Cap Tony, which is very unusual. Not on this side, though. Not on that side, but on this Deep side. Cut. So we'll leave the honey for. Jeez. I don't know. Let's just hope that the box or that the box that we put back up, as we recall, can have has a lot of space for her. Hmm. I might be able to take this frame. Okay, maybe this frame. Let's check her out. Let's see here. Let me go back to this one. Hello, B. Is this the one I just... No, you just did this one. Okay. You want to go here. Okay. Right. They're getting ready. Yeah, you did. So no, I took one out. This is the one I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, they are really getting rowdy. Upset. I'm going to get some pellets. <laughs> they are nuts. Okay. Nope. Not. Not enough to take. Not enough to take. They're. Uh, I got to close this hive up. This is yeah, thank I'm work. going to get some pellets, folks. It's well, not gonna work. He sits there. My glove. I'm going to go over no, here please. to the golf cart and get those handy dandy uh these wonderful little pellets and see if they do what they're supposed to do. Okay, you're all gonna look at the or no, look at my beautiful bag I got from Barnes and Noble. There we go. I'm going to take some of these. Close that up. Okay. Whoops. B. 
back over. Hey, down there. Okay. Where's my smoker? Over here? Oh, they're not loving anything. They're not happy. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. If I just put these in there, will it start it back up? I don't know, but if you start messing with it, I'm going to lose all my smoke if, if you haven't done this before. Trust me. You're going to have to trust me. You're not using that much smoke anyway. So I figure, okay, folks, I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to set this right here. I'm going to open my smoker, which I don't even know what direction it opens. What direction does this thing open from? Uh-oh. Care to hear, Mark? What? Never mind. I'll figure it out. No, I'm not figuring it out. It's not working. Let me see if it does. There we go. I don't know, folks. It's an experiment. A minute with me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I really don't realize how busy a beehive can be. It's coming. Here you go. Okay, I'm sitting back down because I like it over here. Here, um, here are some of the flowers. I don't know if you can see them. That the bees like. I can't even see them. What is with this? Oh, there they are. Those are some of the flowers. They really, really like those flowers. Okay. Oh, look at that smoker. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, I love it. Where is that smoker? I'm going to sit here and show you the smoker, folks. Ugh. Where's that smoker? I have to go over there and show you. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, yeah. Now that, oh, I love that. Let's hear it for those pellets. Gorgeous. <laughs> I'm seeing how hot it is. Oh. <laughs> Can you see all the bees around him? Wait a minute. I don't know if you can. Uh, let me lean back here. Uh, I can't really see them. Let me get this. Eh. I got to get this thing back on fast. Yeah, but they like the smoke. We're, um, here we go. Uh, I love, I love that. Look at that smoker. Do you see that smoker, folks? Now, that's a smoker. I don't know if you can see, if you're looking at what I'm looking at. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I like to see. Okay. Uh, whoops. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Oh, marvelous. Marvelous. That's a smoker. There. That's how a smoker should be. And they fit perfectly. Do you, do you, are you going to need some help with one of those? Okay. Oh, I just felt a drop. Yeah. I'm the rain is coming. Fast. Huh? I'm more interested in moving fast. We're moving fast, but I love that smoker. Is there some way we can put that out where we don't lose? It really hit me now. You want me to? I, wait. I'll get you. Oh, you got don't it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. That's how you smoke them. Yeah. And, you know, it calms them down, too. I was reading about all different types of um, pellets. That's what I dropped in there, pellets. And they fit right through the top of the smoker, which is great. Um, right through the um, point there. You see the point where the smoke comes out? They just drop right in there. Um I was reading about some, and um, some of those bees are going to meet their maker. Uh, but anyway, a lot of people didn't want to get them because it smelled like something it wasn't supposed to smell like, and I'm not going to say it here. Huh? No, I'm just... I can't say it on YouTube, but it just didn't smell right from China. So, 
said, eh, I can't get that. So let me stand up here. Oh, dear. Yeah. Well, you know, we, we try to tell them, you know, here we go. Here, I got gotcha. you. This is my little, I'll show you folks. They need this one. My little um, smoker. That's my smoker with the smoke coming out. I love it. Whoop, I'll get it. I'll get it. It's, gee, willikers. There you go. Propolize. And see the bees are in the bottom. Yeah, they're going to need that. She's going to need that to get yep, up there in the space. Lay. So I think we're going to feed them. Uh, because we're in a dearth, which basically means there is not enough or very little, um, here's my studies, very little, um, few, um, things, plants, flowers for them to forage from. And I'm going to show you again these little things. I don't know what these flowers are, but they absolutely love them. Uh, something else, which is coming out soon which they absolutely love, is Joe Pye weed. So if you don't know what that is, I'll show you a picture at some point. Uh, let's see the entrance. There they are. One good thing about this hive, if you noticed, the last couple hives we were in, what is that? Mark, there's an, oh, maybe that's a drone. It's in my pocket. Just a second. Is that a drone? No. Not fat enough. What is it? It's a worker. They have different colors because and different she sizes. Makes with 14 to 40 drones. So okay. You've got, it's like a mixed gotcha. family. So okay. So anyway, um I forgot my train of thought. Anyway. I have to knock, knock these off in front. So okay. My train of thought will come back, folks. Trust me. Okay, let's see. But we're going to feed her. We're going to feed this hive. And um, so we probably won't be taking any more honey off, but that's okay because we want them to not concentrate on eating their honey, but to concentrate on storing it which they will do and again there's the entrance with no entrance reducer which means they have full reign to come and go as they please sometimes with an entrance reducer we'll put it on when we're afraid of robbing especially during a dearth Oops, let me go around it. Because this is the front right here. This is their flight path. So you just don't want to get in their flight path. Now, what my husband is doing is brushing the bees off of the frame we are taking. And um, he's going to put it somewhere secure. where they cannot get to it, which is inside of a super box because it is a super frame and closing it off. Oh, that net, they can get through that, but we'll take care of that later. This is what the people that sold us the nukes used. Mm -hmm. Okay, put that box on top maybe. Mark, maybe this one on top? Yeah. Because they can get through that net. Yeah. They can't get through the green. Really? Nope. Oh. Nope. Oh, that's right. I'm looking at the hose. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Well, I think that's it. I'm not 100% sure. Where are we? Are we done? Yeah, we're done. We're done. This has been a fantastic day. This is our swarm hive. 
as I said, we never see evidence of high fetals or anything in this hive. This hive is, you know, even like in a dearth like this where they're hungry, able to take care of everything. We will be streaming tonight, our regular time at nine. And a couple of worms. What? We can't, did they come from the ground? Get Maybe. off of there. Get off know. of there. They were both, I just took one yeah. off. Okay. They're too they big. They might have been on the ground. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think uh, they're what we call interlopers. Interlopers, yeah. In the beekeeping game. We will be <laughs> streaming tonight. <laughs> Why? Um, I'm going to sit down. And um, we'll be able to answer any questions you have from any of the streams this week. And also let you know how things are progressing here. As I say over there, our main bee yard and our experiments, and we do have two going right now, two or three, are, um, where are they? Our Louisiana three, and then our, um, I don't know which direction I'm going here, and then our two swarms. We've enjoyed doing this. Uh, we will be down here in a few days to check out um, how our experiments are going. We have some queen bees that we put in, things like that. And so we'll want to know how they're doing. Okay. I don't think we're going to need that in there. You're putting that in a smoker? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you again. Vinny G, you rock. We love you. And this is the Bee Lady saying goodbye from the Bee Lady Apiary for now. See you later tonight. Bye.